How you doing today, Brad? It's my whammy fist. Whammy? <laughs> whammy! <laughs> it's been called other things. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, man. You? Good. I'm doing it's been all right. a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good to be these back are, in, the are, studio. in the studio. In the studio. In the studio. It was fun jamming last night, man. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was. It was. It was. So what do we got here today? You know what we have, I Special know. 22 semi hollows. So we've talked a lot about Special 22 semi hollows. We've been getting a lot of them in the shop, but we've gotten, we're starting to get a couple of wood library runs in that are really cool. And, wood burrs. Wood burrs. Wood berries. Over to bury. Library. Library. That's what my kid says, yeah. library. <laughs> wood library. Libraries. These are young. So what we have here today, we just started getting these in. This is a this is the limited special 22 semi hollow wood library with figured maple necks and fretboards, which is really stellar. They are nice flamey necks. Yeah. yeah. And flamey fingerboards. And we both have the same color, which is the charcoal jade burst, but you have the flame top version and I have the quilt top version. That is a very tight flame. And that is I, a very nice quilt. I that's I that's almost artist territory there. I know you always see artists with a nice, tight, well defined flame. Nice and tight. Like it's a, real like nice a... right there. <laughs> but the, the fretboard, I think we made a very classy decision in just um, doing the outline birds. I, I I'm a fan of the outline birds. I really like this power. Yeah. Hollow. It's very powerful. <laughs> Woo! Fight the power. <laughs> but yes, they're nice. They match the guitar nicely. It's, it's very classy. Yes. And we've, got, we, we've done this before. We did it again on this run with the smoked black chrome hardware and the black plastics. Plastique. Which has been nice. Uh, Sounds fancier. You watch these trends on Facebook and these guys that are changing all their ivory pickup rings and plastics to black and then you get the one guy that Got the black. What do you guys think? You think it should change it to ivory? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? <laughs> the good thing is you can change it all if yeah. you really want to. Right. And we've actually got some cool news about that coming pretty soon. We do. About a uh, special thing you may be able to do on our website. That's but we're not cool. going to spill the beans just yet. No. We've got to make sure it works perfectly. Yeah. But the tuners are smoked black too. Yeah. Phase three locking. Smoked black. Very cool. I like it. I've been playing these for about 30 minutes, haven't tuned it since. No, no, I tuned it when I first sat down and it and been wanking on it for a while. And, Wank. And it's it's good. Wanking. Very stable. So what do you think about your first episode of Letterkenny last night? Did you like it? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I, it's it, it's like one of those things that I think I'm going to have to go back and watch it like four or five times to pick up all the stuff that I missed trying to figure out the previous yeah. thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's one it of those moves fast, and it's like it's just every line is like there's some there's a nugget in every yeah. line, and you got to be listening. You can't have people <laughs> talking while the movie, you know. So anyway, like, so who's watching Letter Kenny on uh, Hulu? You gotta you gotta leave us a comments. Yeah, maybe post one of their stupid uh, bits, <laughs> you know, one of their quotes. Keep if you're not PG, watching though. it, you got to check it out. Yeah. So, but uh, one thing I always like the first episode I saw it. One movie I cannot stand is that Dynamite movie, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. So, like, my prereq was that when somebody says, man, I saw this video, this movie, it's funny as hell, I say, well, listen, here's, do you like Napoleon Dynamite? Because if they do, I won't watch what they suggest. Because <laughs> I think that's, a, I watched four minutes of it and I had to give up. I couldn't do it. Yeah. But anyway, my point is, the first episode reminded me of that, and I'm like, I got to watch another one. Once I watched the second one, it was like, Okay, it's clicking now. These guys I, are just being. I haven't shits. watched too many episodes of Trailer Park Boys, but as soon as I saw just a little bit of Letter Kenny, I it was like, oh, yeah. okay, this is kind of like Trailer Park Boys <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. So it's, anyway, it's stupid, but it's like funny stupid. Yeah, and you get and it, it, you got to watch a bunch of episodes to appreciate why they do what they do. And like if we have any Canadian viewers, like we need to know, is like that is how y'all is that how y'all talk up there? Really, just giving her. <laughs> Give her. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this Sorry. guitar. So we got 20 or 30 of these coming in, right? We're going to soon be, the, if not already, the kings of the PRS Semi Hollow 22. I mean, we've got, uh, we've got a few of them in stock with more on the way. These wood yeah. library runs are starting to come in. But it's a, it's a 
fantastic guitar. It's been uh, well received since the, it debuted last summer yeah. in 2018. We um, received a bunch of them. Yeah, well. and we still have a few people waiting on special orders from summer of 2018, the, yeah. the last few. So we apologize for that, but they're coming and they're, they're going to be yeah. worth the wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the cool thing is, is obviously the diversity of the guitar because of all the switching you have. Yeah. So you can get a proper single coil tone out of this guitar. It's got that 408 boom switchers. And boom. So now I can get blues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you can, the cool thing is you've got, it's independent. Go ahead. What? It's independent uh, yes. tapping. So you can have one humbucker tapped and not the other or both or none. So you can it's do whatever this. whatever you want. Watch this. Make sure I'm thinking right here. So we got... Okay, so leave that one in humbucker, put this one in single coil, and I do something like this. Then I do this. I got my blues tone in yeah. a flick of one switch. That's right. Yes, so that's what I like. So I'm humbucker here, single coil there, yeah. and I got some soul to bring to the table. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So it's a it's a Swiss Army knife, just like a lot of PRS guitars. Yep, yep. And then so should we go? We, I know we've gone through the uh, Let's do the, it. the pickup selections on the Special Twenty Two before, but maybe it's worth doing again. That way they won't have to scour. Yeah, so we've the already net. talked about what these little thingies do. So on the five way blade. All the way down in here, position one, see, right here, yes. you get the bridge humbucker. By itself. By itself. Position two is the bridge pickup with the middle narrow field. Position three is not the narrow what field by it itself. Right. It is the two humbuckers together. The bucking. Bucking the hum. Side by side. Position four neck and narrow field position five neck you're being very methodical and and thorough I like just it. don't want to leave anything on the table here that's good so the cool thing is let's say you go to this middle setting you have any of these combinations you can use you can put the bridge and humbucker and you can just listen to the tones change to find your sweetness Way so they can see your switchering. My switchering. Uh, it's pretty subtle, but it makes a big difference when you're pumping 300 watts through a 412. You know? Yes. You know, Robert? I do know. Robert? That's position four. So right now you have a humbucker and the sink and the. Oh wait a minute! Do you have a humbucker on? Yeah, I did. Now I don't. That doesn't work like that. There you go. So that's single coil with the narrow yep. field, right? Yeah, single coil neck. Play that a little bit. That's that's intriguing. It's kind of like position four on a strat. Yeah. Which it should be kind of, because the narrow field with a single coil. Man, I'm so glad you're back to so glad you're back to playing more again. Then you can do stuff like same setting, same setting, single coil. You get that jangly, aggressive. Yeah, 
Yes, that's yes, bluesy. It is. It's very. I like it a lot. But that's a you know that's that's cool that you you know you were sitting there going <laughs> nice and soulful, but then you just let it eat. Very responsive axe. Yes. <laughs> So they, let's get to the pickups real quick. So Do you they like have, when people call guitars axes? I don't, man. I'm, I'm not a fan. Like, or get fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> like axe. It really it, grinds my gears. It does. <laughs> so that axe thing is like good for like uh, mid-80s. Like you, those guys can call their guitars axes because that's where it originated. I yeah. think, but like shredding with an axe. Sorry, Pearl Jam doesn't play axes. <laughs> no. And neither does John Mayer or yeah. anyone like that. But they play BB guitar King. very BB King well. Didn't play an axe. Right. I can't see him using his hollow body as an axe. No. But he they play grace. guitar better yes. than I. Yeah. Much better than yeah. I. And that's okay. But they BB don't call their guitar. I, I guarantee you, BB never called his guitar an axe. I. I think I agree with you. So anyway. Special so, 22 semi-hollows. Let's talk about these and the woods that they are they yeah. contain here in. So it's a maple top, mahogany neck, back, sorry, and maple neck and maple fretboard. Yeah. The other ones that we have coming in, do you know the specs of them? I know there's some with a rosewood neck, right, and an ebony board. Probably Does ebony right? board. Yeah, I don't have the... I, can't commit them all to memory, I'm sorry. Okay, but if you have any questions, you can call this guy. Yeah. And he's got the spec sheets in his office, this guy right here. Yep. And we he's, got him. Uh, he's, he's a lot more organized than I am, so you should ask him. But he's got all that stuff squared away. So I saw, I saw these come in. I thought that this is a really nice look, man. It is. It's really rock nice and roll. Guitar. It's rock and roll. What do you, from a tonal standpoint, what do you think the maple brings? Give it a little spank? So that it's funny you say little, that. A little articulation. That's how you sound real like. That's how you sound. <laughs> that's how you sound real sophisticated. You say, you know, it's funny you say that. I was, <laughs> you know, so I generally answer every question with that first. But anyway, so when I was plugging into this, it's amp, better than well. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> back to that point. Um, but whenever I was trying to dial in a tone, which wasn't terribly hard, I was noticing. I was having to take a little bit of the high end, that high end mid range, yeah, these, and the brings high brings a little end. bite. Yeah, and I'm not getting snap. that like, like the mahogany and ebony or mahogany and rosewood combination. You generally tend to get that kind of like straightforward. I don't want to say mellow, but it's rounded off. Mm -hmm. This kind of gives you that bite. A proper spank on the bottom. It does. <laughs> the proper spanking. But that's it's cool. I mean, it's it's the guitar is extremely versatile, and I love it. I I want one for myself, and I guess I'm gonna have to get one soon because they said whatever's being built in the factory right now is all that's ever gonna be. You know, built. you keep talking about these guitars. You're gonna have to get for yourself. I think we're gonna have to open up a secondary more music at your house now. <laughs> well, I I saw it last night. I, it's getting pretty dumb. You have quite the collection. And and it's I'm very blessed to have good friends that help me find good guitars yeah. and that are always on the lookout for me and I'm very happy to have the ones I have. So. Well, hey, if you have any questions about these or any other guitars on our website, you need to get a hold of us. You can, uh, you can call, call this fool! You can call us, you can email us, you can chat with us on the website. We're available, so uh, there's no excuse. Reach out and we'll ha be happy to answer your questions. Um, thank you for joining us. This is this Charcoal Jade Burst, by the way. We did say that, I think. We did? Yes. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. All right. I'm an idiot. I wasn't. I don't Flame listen to and you quilt. half the time. Uh, my wife says I have two faults. <laughs> you said this last night and I about died. Number one, I don't listen. Number well. two, she was something else she was rambling on about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So anyway, morgatars.com. Make sure you, this button down here, wherever it is in YouTube land, I, they move it from time to time. You click it, it's right and then here. you put the bell. Is it over here? I don't know. The bell where you get notifications because we got a bunch of cool videos coming out all the time. You should check out our channel, but the most important thing, if you're a guitar purchaser and you're doing it quite often, or you just like looking at cool gear and want to see all the new stuff. We have a new arrivals email that goes out every, every day, day that Aaron, our 
badass listing guy, Aaron, puts on every day and you can see everything that comes through photo land and ends up in our, on our website. So sign up for that. Go to our website. You got to sign up. It's at the top. There's a little thing. You can do that. So do that. We'll sit here and wait. Go do it now. <laughs> Pump the brakes there, Squirrely Dan. Anyway, so we're out of here. Moreguitars.com. Thanks, guys. See ya.